Hi ladies, Elsa here from Just a Few Designs and I wanted to share with you my project for the I Am Roses design team. I made another little layout and this is 8x8 eight eight, and it holds two really nice snapshots right here. And uh, I left this one on, it's not glued down so that you can slide this photo in here like this. When I make my layouts, I try not to glue everything down. Like if you can see, this is also not, not glued down. That's how you can put a photo right here and then another one right here. And then this is what I made for you to do a little journaling. And it also goes under here, like a little pocket. See? And this beautiful paper, look at that. I just love it. It's so soft and romantic and feminine. I just love it. And it's this darling. I think I want pictures of my granddaughter maybe or my daughter's when they were little. But this is the paper collection. And this is from Die Cuts with a View, and it's the French Country Stack. I wonder why it gets so dark when I try. And it's one-sided paper, but the papers are gorgeous. I just love, love, love this stack. And, um, and then, of course, all the I Am Roses Yummy Flowers. Um, right here, see these little things there? I tell you what the name is, but I can't pronounce it very well. So I'm going to tell you what it, the number of it is ST1. Stamen, stamens. <laughs> I can't say it. But anyway, that's what they come in. And I just use some of the white ones right here. And then the flowers, I use different size rosettes. And I use the R2s, R8s, R3s, and R6s. And they're all different sizes, from, from bigger, right here, this bigger size, to little tiny ones, right here. Now, the little tiny ones I use right here, like, you know, to define the little tiny waist on the dress form. And this dress form is one of the die cuts, the Sissix from Tim Holtz. And then this is just a little thing that I had that I bought at one of our local craft stores. Scrap that. And then these flowers right here, these are the little tiny rosettes. And then these are the hydrangea leaves, which are these. And I'm not sure what the number for these are. I'll try to get it and post it below. But they come in a little package like this. If you go to the site, um, IamRoses.com and go under petals, flower petals for scrapbooking, these will come up. Well, I mean, a lot more, but you'll find those there. And then I use the white leaves. These are mulberries, so they take color really pretty. So if you want to dye them with uh, with the Lindsay Stamp Gang colors, you can really get some really awesome colors with those. I just used everything in white because it's really like a cream, and I thought it matched my paper. So I used the two leaves on the on the top of my little journaling spot. Then I used a Martha Stewart die cut punch right here. Let's give a little bit more dimension. And this awesome, I just had a little piece of this. This is some trim that I've had for years and I also lined the bottom of it. You can see it right here popping up through here. The bottom. And then I did a half of a flower. This is my project. So I hope you enjoy it and that it inspires you to create and make little layouts. Um, they're easier for me to work with. You know, I like making the 12 by 12, but 8 by 8, it seems like you can fill them up faster. And all these flowers, when you have beautiful stuff to work with, these flowers are just awesome. You can just, you know, it, it makes a project. You start with just plain paper and look what you can make, ladies, and all of you make awesome and beautiful stuff. So pull all your stuff out and get to work. Make some pretty stuff. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.